It is nearly 20 years to the day since she was convicted of killing a baby boy. Now former nanny Louise Woodward has been pictured strolling hand in hand with her own young child. In recent photographs taken over two separate days the 39-year-old was seen taking her daughter, three, to nursery in a sleepy village near Bridge North, Shropshire. In one set of photos she was seen cautiously holding on to her child as the pair went to safely cross a road. And the youngster toddled about happily as she held on to a little plastic butterfly as Woodward held on to her school bag. In 1997 Woodward made headlines around the world after she killed American infant Matthew Eiffin while working as an au pair for his family at their home in Newton, Massachusetts. The baby died of brain injuries just 10 weeks after she started the job. Prosecutors alleged Matthew had shown classic symptoms of shaken baby syndrome, but the defense team argued the death had been caused by an injury the baby sustained weeks before. During her trial Woodward's expressionless demeanor led to vitriolic criticism about her supposed coldness and lack of emotion. She was initially jailed for second-degree murder on October 30 but after an appeal, her conviction was swiftly reduced to involuntary manslaughter and she was released after serving 279 days in jail. She has maintained her innocence ever since and her claims were backed by experts. Now Woodward has embraced family life after marrying her businessman husband Anthony Elkis in 2013 and now works as a dance teacher. Before her child was born Woodward, now known as Mrs. Elkis, told the Daily Mail, I know there are some people waiting for me to have a baby so they can say nasty things. It upsets me but that is not going to stop me leading my life. I am innocent. I have done nothing wrong. I am entitled to enjoy my life. I am not going to apologize for being happy.